each of you to understand how to perform the one. We already know it. But also we need to understand what is the mechanism of the one state. Right? We need to understand that. Also there are several methods. We, we emphasize it again and again. Speak plate, pull plate, and the spread plate. So this is a speak plate mainly for eye formation. Remember, so speak plate, you know how to do it. And uh, it's for the isolation. And uh, this is a practical, we could call the devotion method. But the spread and the pull plate, they are quantitation. So they could, for example, we give examples if we want to detect how many bacteria in one meal of milk or one meal of water. We have to, like, uh, to really accurately remember we ate, for example, 100 micronets. Then we have to make, like, how many dilutions. Then you could, we could report how many bacteria. So in the one year of the sample, we received. So this, remember, is quantitative. So any question come up here, so please just go to refill it, to take it, all right? So it's really simple, but it's really important, okay? Remember, Canon test, we all did that. So I, I'm sure what kind of reaction we use, what kind of reaction, and how we did it. We use 3% H2O2, right? And uh, this is how with Canon test, we see the bubble, and uh, this is important. Also, you guys see the oxidative test. So this is a really important test where we differentiate the different, like, uh, different group of the, the cock size, so it's, a, it's not always correct, always 100% true with each like step cock, step cock, but overall it's really, wait, yes, please. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, for well, the question was for catalyst test, test, do we have to know which specific bacteria? No, that's the information Dr. Sotom may ask you. So what do we, Ask you here just to so you know what the mechanism, what kind of reaction you use it, what kind of reaction. And that's uh, something later I will well talk about that. Something you are responsible for bacteria, not here, right? Not here. So, oxidase test and the, and the ketamine uh, oxidase test, ketamine test. So, this is uh, like the mechanism, what kind of reaction you use it. So, you did uh, several times, many times. I'm sure you all remember it, all right? Also, for the Palada Agar, we have like different kind of hemolysis. So this information, we have to remember it, okay? So you remember we're talking about what bacteria they should have double the hemolysis. We saw it here, double the hemolysis. Yeah, yeah, many of you, I'm sure many of you, set the process, set oil. So step oil is actually this plate. You see this double zone hemolysis. In the very middle, you have those step, step oil is very thin. Then outside, there is very narrow zone of those like, uh, uh, it's a complete hemolysis. Then up, out, outside, is a wider zone of the alpha hemolysis. You don't remember it? I think many of us <laughs> should be. So, it's, it's uh, remember the step always. That is uh, it's very like uh, important the diagnosis and to to remember that please. And the McConkey guy is also to remember it, why this medium is the synaptic medium and the division medium. Why is that? So what kind of pH you indicate? Why so lactose ferment formation? So this is some information. If we have questions, we just go to the cavity, McConkey. Just to feel more here for you. Yeah, right. And uh, also the different type of pH indicate. So what's the color change and the less information, I think it's really important. We have to remember it. And here is also the content for the synaptic media, for the differential media, and for the synaptic and the differential media. So different kind of media. Please remember, so we, we say it like three, four times. Probably Dr. Soto also, he <coughs> said many times. Those are key information, we have to remember it, right? For the TSI, people sugar iron. So this media, also remember like what kind of sugar inside, what are the concentrations. 
So just remember, I'm sure he told. And also remember why the, this media with the color change. pH reduction with the color usage. Also really important to remember here, the H2S. So why do we get black color? What, what kind of we then metabolize sodium thiosulfate, then produce the ferrous phosphate with H2S. H2S, like uh, produce H2S, work with the ferrous phosphate, then produce black color. Really understand why we have the black color here. Good information. And the TSI, the second important point for TSI is that we have to remember how to record results. So what kind of reaction? Uh, by the way, for the lab final, I give 18 questions. It's all choice. You don't have to fill in blanks. The last class we have to fill in blanks. The last thing I want to make simply simple or simply white. So it's all multiple choice. Some have to choose true and false. Some like four options. But you, you don't have to write something. But that means, like, if I say, like, this is the way, and uh, uh, AA means glucose nectar fermentation, or we'll ask you this correct way to recall the TSI or not, something like that. We have to remember that. So when people write a K A G H 2 s you understand what that means, all right? The URS test also, I think, I don't think we did it. The URS that time didn't work, the demonstration, but still we need to remember that. The phenol rate, so why the color change, what, uh, what's the situation, and uh, really, like, uh, we need to remember for the U.S. test. And the uh, MSA manifold sorter, so we have one question for the lab hormone, was asking if we put E. coli on the MSA, what kind of color. So E. coli is on MSA, you don't see any growth, because this is a selective and a differential medium. Again, for each, like important differential and select media, we need to understand how, what the mechanism. So we need to understand that, all right? So MOI, somebody called MI, mortality, only thing in carbocarbonation. So this main test, like you can see those movements, there might be single question, simple question ask you to what I mean, how can we kill the mortality? And the decarbonation is the only thing. So this is, is also this information, the color change, and uh, forget the top part because this is So this is, uh, I think we have really short, but uh, contains important information, writing, introduction. If we have time, I still like uh, encourage you guys to read it through. Because this kind is, for me, uh, I, don't, I don't find any, reason why you guys will fail in the back team. But uh, still, I think this is the final chance for you to go through it. Because in the future, you don't want to, you don't have the chance to read them systematically. Nobody push it. So we all need to be pushed. So I, I need to, so I something, I, I, I promise I will bring the lab, like assignment tomorrow, I need to work hard tonight. So to, and all those, so just go through all those, all those like uh, lab, and uh, I think the thing will be helpful, right? Uh, also for the indoor test, so I think uh, we didn't do this, but you should remember tryptophan. Tryptophan is, is an important amino acid utilized here, yes or no. That's why it's associated, associated with the color changes. I think we have writing with the with the touch in the lab part. And one more thing, uh, we had, I am not really sure, we had the demonstration with the OF test. It's called the oxidation fermentation test. So this the OF test is really simple because the mainly in the medium that contains glucose, they want to find out if this bacteria can do the oxidation, if they can do the fermentation, or they can do the both. So if the, the bacteria attack use of glucose, we induce the pH reduction, the color will become yellowish. So this is the original color for the OF media, the so oxidation of fermentation media. And you can see the first, actually two tubes, the one tube that puts like baseline or mineral oil, put oil on the top.